Before Riff Raff went from reality TV clown to a rap icon with his albums Neon Icon and Peach Panther and collabs with Action Bronson, Skepta, Chief Keef and Lil Yachty. Before treating his body like a giant vision board, getting the logos of BET, World Star Hip Hop, the NBA, and MTV plastered all over his body. Before he brought his puppy Jody Husky on tour and charged 40 bucks an autograph, helping bump up his net worth to an estimated 3 million. Give me dipping his hand in. Before Riff Raff pretended to sue James Franco for stealing his image in the film Spring Breakers, and even made fun of him by playing a character named Jamie Franco on One Life to Live. Riff Raff grew up a shy middle class white kid amongst three siblings in a suburb of Texas. He loved attention, but no one could have guessed how far he'd go to get it. Corn rows, diamond coated chains, and crazy custom cars seemed to grow on him overnight. And Houston's locals didn't know if they should kick his ass, making fun of rap culture, or pop his CD in and have a listen. What's going on, guys? My name is Michael Cretton, documenting the life and career of Riff Raff prior to fame here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now this video is an updated version because we've been looking through our catalog and we're like, yeah, I could have done better. The guy wore a collared shirt and blue jeans. He idolized Vanilla Ice but didn't get into music on his own until his 20s. But we've covered so many other rappers on this channel, Rich Chiga, Tory Lane, Soldier Boy, just off the top of my head. So be sure to browse around and let us know who's next in the comments down below. was born Horst Christian Simcoe on January 29th, 1982 in Houston, Texas and is of German and Lithuanian Jewish descent. His mother Anita was a maid and his father Ronald was a Vietnam War veteran living with severe PTSD. That might explain why he named his kid Horst. Did I miss anything? Uh, let's check back with the original video. Ronald suffered from a severe post traumatic stress disorder but he managed to keep food on the table working as both a police officer and at one point a Walmart manager. Yeah. That wasn't pretty. Horse was the second oldest of four siblings, Amber, Claire, and Victor, and he grew up just outside of Houston in a suburb called Copper Field. The family lived on a ranch on a quiet cul de sac surrounded by rice farms. White, square cut, and middle class, Horse became obsessed with basketball, wrestling, and vanilla ice. He hadn't started sporting cornrows or grills just yet, but he was tiptoeing in his Jordans early on, laying out his clothes, making sure his boxers and socks matched, and picking out his cologne since elementary school. That's fresh. While at Langham Creek High, he was a shooting guard for the basketball team, and he started experimenting with hairstyles in his senior year. He also liked throwing stink bombs in the bathrooms. In fact, he threw so many so often, it got him kicked out of school a month before graduation. He eventually got his GED, but his parents went through a divorce, and his dad had a cancer diagnosis that forced him to move out of the heat and relocate to Minnesota. Horse followed his pops to Duluth and even gave Hibbing Community College a go from 2001 to 2003, but dropped out when he felt out of place. He also picked up a charge of petty theft in 2002 back in Houston. So, booyah! Bring on the street cred. In 2003, he went to Houston where he put every check from his odd jobs, including factory work, furniture schlepping, illegal activities, and painting cars. All that money he earned went into his new baller lifestyle, even getting his hands on a blinged out Bart Simpson figurine. Why does that sound familiar? He realized local rappers and wanted the girls, the fame, and the money they had, so he decided he would start rapping himself. That's when his alter ego, Riff Raff, came on the scene. People weren't sure if they should be offended or entertained. One thing was for sure, he definitely was the crazy white kid on the block. In 2005, he recorded his stuff and started passing out his CDs around the Houston area. Soon everyone was curious if Jody High Roller, aka Riff Raff, he scraped by sharing an apartment with his friend Vons and selling ecstasy to pay his half of the rent. He was determined to be famous and started going to auditions. He was passed over on P. Diddy's Making the Band, but flew himself out to Atlanta in 2009 for the casting of a new reality show from G's to Gents. The MTV reality show from G's to Gents put him through to the second round and Riff Raff was so ecstatic, he went and got a giant MTV logo tattooed on his neck. Luckily they cast him and he got his 15 minutes of fame. He was only on for two episodes before getting voted out. But once the world got a whiff of the alien life form that is Riff Raff, they wanted more. People flocked to his YouTube and MySpace page to listen to his hilarious raps. He Ron C of Swisha House started to manage him and saw his act was sincere. That is until Soldier Boy scooped him up a few months later. Unfortunately, no paperwork was signed and the two had a falling out. It seems like Soldier Boy can't get along with no one. Say Soldier ain't from the hood. Hey, they say Soldier ain't from the hood. Get off me though. Oh, oh, man, man, that's like, me though. What's happening? 
Luckily, Riff had dropped his phone number in one of his freestyles, which led MTV VJ and rapper Simon Rex to give him a call. He convinced Riff Raff to move to LA and even offered him a couch to sleep on. Together, they formed the rap group Three Loco and Andy Millen. He convinced more people that he was the real deal. He collabed with rap giants Chief Keef, Little B, and Action Bronson. In 2012, Diplo signed the future star to his label, Mad Decent Records, saying finding him was like finding an Apple computer in 1971. Full of potential. For the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCredden. We make a lot of bio videos here for you on this channel. We've done over 700. We do rappers, we do actors, we do YouTubers, we do singers, we do models, we do porn stars. We do anyone who's famous. So be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below. Hit subscribe. We'll see you guys.